Hello and welcome to the Crate Myrtle capital of Texas. In this video, we're gonna talk about everything there is to do in Waxahachie, including where to live, where to eat, shop, dining, recreation. We're even gonna talk about jobs and parks and green space. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker in the Dallas, Texas area. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Dallas, Texas, or any one of its many suburbs, including Waxahachie, you're definitely gonna wanna hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the business since 2007, helping buyers and sellers just like you every day and we absolutely love it <laughs> we're also a family brokerage so if you like the idea of our family helping yours be sure and scroll on down to that description section you know and look for that let's find home questionnaire get that filled out you know you're also welcome you can text us give us a call drop us an email really any one of those ways work we're just glad to have the opportunity to help you find your home your own special place here in the dallas texas area but like I said, today we are out here doing a full vlog tour of Waxahachie, Texas. And as you can see, it is just an amazingly charming place. Don't know if you can see the courthouse there in the background. Courthouse was built in 1897. <laughs> That's amazing. It has been just beautifully restored and maintained. Uh, they call it the Fairy Tale Palace. I can kind of see that. It has a lot of charm to it, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you a little bit about Waxahachie. Population in Waxahachie, right around 40,000. Okay, it has 48 square miles. And if we were to take that and compare that, say for example, to Midlothian, Midlothian has a population of 38,000 on 64 square miles. So Waxahachie has that higher population, but the smaller land. Now, another thing you should know about Waxahachie is it is absolutely exploding in growth tons of new construction quick search on the mls and i saw 197 active and sold listings in the past 90 days <laughs> so i know you guys have seen my vlog tours on midlothian and we've talked about how that is exploding in growth waxahachie actually has more new construction than midlothian so it's that really guys that entire southern sector is just exploding in growth now commute time you should know waxahachie is closer to dallas Oh, it's so cool. Do you hear the bells behind me? <laughs> that is so awesome. What a great time to be in Waxahachie. All right, so the commute times. We're going to talk about commute times here for Waxahachie. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a real bad commute. It's about a 35-minute drive to Dallas from here. It is on I-35, and I-35, it's really not the great greatest of roads to travel, right? It's a lot of construction. Uh, so about a 35-minute drive to downtown Dallas, going to Fort Worth. We're talking more like a 42-minute drive to Fort Worth and then the airport that one's a really got quite a bit of space 49 minutes right so anyway so commute times not the greatest but the cool thing I don't tell you the coolest thing about Waxahachie is how self-sustaining it is okay you're far south you got a really small town community feel but it's also self-sustaining and you know I'll tell you Midlothian can't claim that because Midlothian doesn't have the jobs that Waxahachie does Okay, so Waxahachie has some really big companies here. It has Owens Corning. It has the Walgreens Distribution Center. And in fact, Blue Star Land just bought a massive parcel over by 35 and 287 that is also gonna bring a huge amount of jobs. You know, so it's a really cool thing about Waxahachie is that you can live here and you can work here, you know, and never have to really commute. There's a lot of jobs here. Anyway, so obviously I'm a fan of Waxahachie. Waxahachie is very cool tell you what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of that courthouse and then we're gonna take a look at some shopping in Wasahatchee. So stay tuned. We are still out here down by the square, right by the Waxahachie Ellis County Courthouse because I couldn't leave without showing you some of the incredible retail they have here. Just a really neat walkable downtown. So if you like walkable downtowns with cool little, 
you know, antique shops, boutiques, little dining areas. You're gonna love downtown Waxahachie, right? I'm even thinking I wanna come here for a date night, okay? Because this is a really <laughs> neat, neat place. Anyway, some of the cool little shops you're gonna find, uh, Bittersweet Bakery, Bonton Vintage, the College Street Pub. Tell you something really neat they have here in Waxahachie. They have a two-story coffee house, the White Rhino, okay? Uh, and you know, consider what your usual coffee house is. You know, it's kind of small and crowded or whatnot. The White Rhino, two-story, in Waxahachie, it has seating in the back, seating in the front, an upper deck along with both stories. So Waxahachie's got some cool charm, lots of cool dining options. And what I love is a lot of them are more like the no names, the mom and pops that you really haven't heard of anywhere else. So anyway, as you can see behind me, lots of cool antique shopping here on the square. Uh, but lest you think Waxahachie is all about the old, it has plenty of modern day retail as well. Now, you're not gonna find the giant malls like you will in Arlington, but it definitely has its fair share of modern retail as well as these antiques, like the Northgate Plaza, um, plenty of the modern as well. So you've got really, you can come, like I said before, Waxahachie is self-sustaining. You can really meet your needs both in jobs, retail, dining, all of it here in Waxahachie. So really neat. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more in way of retail. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through, and we're gonna look at a couple neighborhoods, right? Cause no matter how great the shopping, no matter how great the retail, right? You all wanna know the same thing. What are the neighborhoods like? So we're gonna answer that question for you as well. So let's go. We are right outside downtown Waxahachie. Uh, you know, when we decided we were gonna do this vlog tour, we really wanted to give you a flavor of both the old and the new when it comes to housing because Waxahachie has it to both extremes. So the neighborhood we're in right now was built anywhere from like the 1920s to the 1960s. So definitely got that oldish flair. Listen, fun fact, did you know Waxahachie is known as the gingerbread city. Yeah, and it's because so many, think about like, you know, gingerbread houses on Christmas and how beautiful they are with all the lattice and everything. And, you know, as you'll see, as we take you through the town, you're gonna see, makes sense that it's called the gingerbread city because of all of the cool charm and beautiful historic nature of these homes. So anyway, this house behind me uh, is real close to downtown Waxahachie. Again, this house behind me is a four bedroom two and a half bath, doesn't have a garage. Most homes in this era did not have garages. Super updated. It has like all the bells and whistles. It's listed for 460,000. Uh, and when I say all the bells and whistles, we're talking granite countertops, shaker cabinets, stainless steel appliances, all new bathroom, all new flooring. Oh, but except on the flooring, it has beautifully refinished original hardwoods. So really neat area. Again, just really wanting to give you the taste of the old and the new when it comes to housing. So now we're gonna wrap it up and I'll show you a little bit around the neighborhood. And then we're gonna go take a look at the neighborhood, the next neighborhood, which has the new construction, newer homes, new construction. I think you're gonna find it really interesting to see that diversity in Waxahachie. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so stay tuned. out here at the Garden Valley Farm subdivision. And again, just Waxahachie having so much diversity, we wanted to be able to show you the old with the new, and this is definitely the new. Uh, you know, and as much as Waxahachie has that incredible charm in those older gingerbread style houses, it has so, so much more in terms of new construction, just tons, it is exploding in growth. And this right here is an example of that. So homes in this community were built from like 2005 up until current. They're still being built. The subdivision is still being constructed as we speak. The average uh, sales price is 432,000 in this area, selling at around 155 bucks a foot, something like that. There's no HOA, which is kind of surprising considering that it's new construction. Uh, the average lots are kind of on the small side with baby trees. Neighborhood, what is it close to? Well, we are close to the Waxahachie Sports Complex, 
close to showbiz cinemas. We're also close to the Waxahachie Town Center, which has more your modern day retail, right? As opposed to what we saw <laughs> with the historic downtown. And again, Waxahachie having both. Anyway, this house here behind me is listed for 430,000, 2,357 square foot, priced at about $182 a foot. So it's a little bit on the high side for what we're gonna see in this neighborhood. It's a four bedroom, two bath, built in 2019. So very nice Tudor style brick, very updated. It has granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, pendant lighting, luxury vinyl plank flooring, uh, framed mirror and then double sinks in the bathroom. It has a garden tub, standing glass shower. So beautifully updated. Again, I think really regardless of what kind of home you're looking for, pretty sure you could find it in Waxahachie, right? Because we're talking old, new, and everything in between. <laughs> All right, well, so I hope you have enjoyed getting to see these two very different neighborhoods. We are gonna take you for a drive through the neighborhood. And then after that, we're gonna wrap up our vlog tour at Getz and Daner Park. So stay tuned. out here at Getz and Daner Park wrapping up our vlog tour. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, isn't Waxahachie such a neat place to see from, you know, the historic county courthouse to the cute older homes along with the, you know, new construction that you'll find everywhere. Waxahachie just has so much to offer. So right here, just wanted to give you kind of an example of their green space. So what does Waxahachie have in the way of green space? This is just the beautiful Getz and Daner Park. Probably saying that wrong. You know what, if I'm supposed to say it differently, tell me in the comments, because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, this is park as an example of the green space you'll find out at Waxahachie. Um, they also have great, great amount of walking trails. Um, and the really neat thing they have with the walking trails is they have this beautiful system that goes right along two old railways. So that's really neat, very picturesque. Um, they also have Lake Waxahachie. So just in general, some beautiful green space to enjoy out in Waxahachie. Um, but anyway, you know, something we haven't talked about yet, we haven't really touched on crimes and schools. So let's kind of go through that a little bit. Cause you know, I think for a vlog tour, you kind of have to touch on that as well. So crime in Waxahachie. Well, Waxahachie is about 33% lower in crime than the national average, right? Niche.com gave it a score of a B. When I looked up on area vibes and crimegrade.org, they will really shade it for you. You know, so there are pockets of Waxahachie that have higher crime than others, higher crime <laughs> than others. You know, so those are great websites. So there were some pockets of higher crime and then there were plenty that had very little crime. So overall, safe city, safer than the national average by far. Uh, schools, okay, so Waxahachie, niche.com gave the schools a grade of an A minus, okay? And really when we looked and I looked at all of the schools, took in some of that data, it was very broad range, but some of the highest scoring ones were the Waxahachie Global High School and Shackelford Elementary. So those were some really high scoring ones. If you're kind of considering Waxahachie, those are two exemplary ones. Anyway though, was this helpful? Was this vlog tour helpful? Hope it was. If so, the next best thing you can do, right, is head on back to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check out a few more. Tell you what, we've got tons of vlog tours on there. And in a future vlog tour, we're gonna be talking about new construction in Waxahachie. And so you definitely do not wanna miss that one. Also, we've got a Waxahachie map tour out, a living map tour where we walk through all the different areas, you know, even focusing on new construction as well. So you don't wanna miss that, but definitely, when you're over there on my channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. And listen, if you like the idea of our family helping yours, you know, and you've got to move to Dallas in your future, be sure and head on down to the description section and check out our Let's Find Home questionnaire, right? Because that's what we do best around here, right? We help you find home in Dallas, Texas. Anyway, in the meantime, listen, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.